Hello and welcome to Pamela's Adoring Crochet. Today's tutorial, we are going to make this mermaid shawl. And I have made this using the Mandela. Um, the colorway is mermaid and it's 590 yards and for a shawlette size. And I made this one using uh, about 900 yards roughly. Uh, I used about a cake and a little bit of uh, into another cake. So um, I did not measure how much of the second cake, but I'm figuring maybe 300 yards out of it. But um, this is basically what you're gonna be making. And um, on the mermaid, if you decide to buy that one, I did color control the white um, only because this color right here came in, you know, and it was pretty bold and so I didn't want that. So I went ahead and color controlled that, but the majority of it, I just let the colors flow. Um, so we will be working on this pattern right here and we'll be going back and forth and until we get to, you know, however length we want it. And when you get to the ends, uh, you do not have to worry about uh, doing a single crochet row on the ends or anything like that. I just ended with um, one of my rows. So it doesn't really matter which row, but I did end up right after I did my three rows of mesh, then I did my single crochet row. And so I just kind of ended with that one. And then so I single crocheted all the way up the sides all the way and across the front and across the other side here. And so that's what I did with that one. So um, to get started, um, we are going to, in this one, just for the tutorial, I'm going to just use some of this cupcake yarn it is a three weight, this is called Sandcastle that I'm using for this, but it's a three weight, it's the same thing, 590 yards. So it's the same as the Mandela, um, it's just uh, called Cupcake. So that's what I'm going to do this tutorial with today. And I am only going to do, um, I think up to 10 rows on the tutorial because you will be repeating rows four through 10. And um, and you can stop pretty much anywhere in there that you want, you know, once you're ready to be finished. So yeah, we're gonna work rows four, uh, one through 10 for the video. And then from there, like I said, you can just repeat four through 10 as many times as you want. And uh, to do the complete shawl, it looks like I did um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I went about eight rounds total for mine. And like I said, you don't have to go that many if you don't want to. And this is going to be made with all double crochets and chain ones and single crochets. And slip stitch and skip stitch. Okay, so... Here we go. So for the terms, that's what you're gonna need right there. So if you don't know how to do those yet, go ahead and uh, look up on YouTube and find a tutorial on how to do those stitches right there. And of course, I will show you them in this tutorial as well. Um, okay, so like I said, we're gonna be using this three-weight yarn. I like to use a row counter. We'll have some scissors for at the end of it when we need to cut our yarn. I like to have a stitch marker on my point. And we are using an H 5.0 millimeter hook. I'm using a clover hook for this. And you will need a darning needle at the end of the video or at the end when you get ready to tie your ends. So these scissors and the needle I'm gonna set to the side for the moment. Okay, so to get started, there are two different things that you can do. You can do a magic circle or you can chain four and slip into the first chain to form a ring. Now, I like to do the magic ring. 
And I don't know how good I am at doing that to where you, you know, can understand what I'm doing on it, but I'm going to try. So I think if I just do it, I can do it better than if I'm talking, okay? Okay, so now we have a magic ring. There we go. And if you're not comfortable with that, just chain four, slip into the first chain and form yourself a ring. Okay, so now we're going to chain three. This is all gonna be done in the circle. One, two, three. Now we're going to do two double crochets in the circle. And some people call that a magic ring, some call it a magic circle. So some, if you see me refer it to either one, it's the same thing. Okay, so now we're going to do chain two and work three double crochets in the same circle. One, two, Three. So we have three, we have a chain three, which is like a represents a double crochet, two double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets. And like I said, I like for my point, I like to have this for my point. Okay, so now you can... Um, I pull that I don't like to do it too tight because I want this to fan out and you're gonna single crochet across here anyway at the end okay so that is row one now row two let me get a bookmark so I can see where I'm at okay row two we're going to chain three One, two, three. Get the paper out of the way here. Okay, so then we're gonna turn our work. And we're going to do two double crochet in the first double crochet. It's actually in that same chain three spot. Like I said, I'm going to refer to that chain three as a double crochet. Okay, so now we're going to do one double crochet in each double crochet up to the chain two space. Okay, so now we're up to the chain two space. And, um... In the chain two, we're gonna make our point. So we're gonna have two double crochets, chain two and two double crochets. Now we're going to have one double crochet in the next two double crochets. And then we are going to um, three double crochet in the top of that chain three. It's one. Two, three. So that's the end of row two. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So we have fourteen double crochets. Now for row three, we're going to chain three.
let me try to move some of this out of the way. I feel like it's blocking your view. Okay, so we chain three. Now we're gonna turn, and I just did, I'm sorry. <laughs> so we turn, do two double crochet in that first double crochet, or that first chain three. It's one, two. Now we're gonna do one double crochet up to the chain two space. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. And remember, whatever we have on one side, we gotta have on the other side as well. So now we're gonna make our point, and our point's gonna be two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet in that point. That's one, two, chain two, two double crochet, one, two. Okay, now that we got our point, we gotta uh, do one double crochet all the way up to our last double crochet. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and then three double crochet in the last, in that chain three. So it's one, two, and three. So that was row three. So we should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Okay, now this is gonna be your repeat rows. Okay, so for row four, we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. We're gonna turn our work. We're going to skip this next double crochet and we're gonna double crochet into this. This represents a double crochet and a chain one. So we're gonna skip the next double crochet, double crochet in the next double crochet. Chain one, skip the next double crochet, double crochet in the next, and you're gonna continue that pattern. Skip, and then double crochet. Chain one, skip, and double crochet. Chain one, skip, double crochet in the last double crochet, and go ahead and you're at your point. Go ahead and chain one and work two double crochets and a chain two and two double crochets in that point. So you, are, you chained one. So one double crochet, two double crochets, chain two, sorry, two double crochets, There we go. Go ahead and put this on our point. Don't forget we got a chain one. And we double crochet in the first double crochet, just like we did the other side. Chain one, skip the next double crochet, double crochet in the next double crochet. Chain one, skip, double crochet in the next. Chain one. Skip, 
double crochet, chain one, skip, double crochet, chain one, skip, and we're going to work uh, one double crochet, just like we did the other side in the top of the chain three. So that was row four. Now we should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen double crochets. Okay, so now for row five, we're going to do some um, single crochets. So we're going to chain one, turn our work. And we're going to work one single crochet in the first double crochet. One single crochet. Chain one. One single crochet in the next chain one space. To the last chain one space. So you're going to chain one. Skip the next double crochet, chain, uh, single crochet in the next chain space, chain one. So you're basically going to skip your double crochets and you're going to single crochet in the chain one space and then chain one. Skip, single crochet, chain one, skip, single crochet, chain one, skip, single crochet, chain one, skip. And we're going to, there's no chain one in between the two. So we're just going to skip that double crochet and we're going to single crochet in that last double crochet. But we still did our chain one. Okay, so in here, we're going to chain one. And now we're at our point. So we're going to do two single crochets. One two, chain two, and two single crochets. And this is why I like to use my stitch marker in the middle of that point, because when you do the single crochets, it's so small. Okay, so now we have our point. So we um, did a two single crochets chain two, two single crochets. We chained one. Now we're gonna do one single crochet in the next double crochet. Chain one, skip the next double crochet, single crochet in the chain one space. Chain one, skip the double crochet, chain one in the, in the chain one space, chain one. So we're gonna skip, chain one, uh, single crochet, chain one, skip. Single crochet, chain one, skip. Single crochet, chain one, skip. Single crochet, chain one, and one single crochet in the chain three space. Now that was row five. And let's see how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, so we have 20, 10 on each side. Okay, so for um, row six, and here's what we're looking like so far. Okay, so for row six, we are going to chain three and turn. One, two, three, we're gonna turn. We're gonna do one double crochet in the same stitch as the chain three. We're gonna chain one and we're going to one double crochet in the chain one space. Chain one, one double crochet in the next chain one space. Chain one, one double crochet in the next chain one space. Chain one and we're gonna repeat this pattern so you get to the two single crochets at the end. 
I'm gonna just cha uh, double crochet in the chain one space and chain one. There we go. And so we're going to skip that first single crochet. Yeah, we got to chain one in that last single crochet that was in our point. Okay, so now we're at the point and we are going to um, work two double crochets. One, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. And that makes our point. Okay, since we didn't chain one before we went to that uh, point, we're just going to work a double crochet in that first single crochet. Now we're gonna chain one, skip that next single crochet. We're gonna uh, double crochet in the chain one space. You're gonna repeat that pattern. Chain one, double crochet in the chain one space. Chain one, we're gonna do this all the way down. There we go. One double crochet in the chain one space. Chain one. One double crochet in the chain one space. Chain one. So we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there's a, yeah, we chained one. And there's our last chain one space. Chain one, and we're gonna work two double crochets in the top of the chain three space. One. Two. So we should have 26 double crochets. So we have Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. So that makes row six. Now for row seven, we are going to chain one, turn, we're gonna work one single crochet in the first double crochet. One single crochet in the first double crochet, chain one, one single crochet in the next chain one space. Chain one, one single crochet in the next chain one space. Chain one, single crochet in the next chain one. And we're gonna repeat that to the last chain one space. Okay, so we had the two left, so we're going to skip that double crochet. We're going to, uh, don't forget to chain one. We're gonna skip that double crochet and single crochet in that last double crochet. Going to chain one, and in that point, we're going to work two single crochets, a chain two, and two single crochets. Okay, so two single crochets, chain two, two single crochets. Chain one, we're going to uh, single crochet in the first double crochet. Chain one, skip the next double crochet. Single crochet in the chain one space. 
chain one, single crochet the next chain one space, chain one, and just keep repeating that to the end. There we go. Okay, so when you get to the last one, you do your chain one, skip this stitch, and then one single crochet in the top of the chain three. Okay, so that makes row seven, and you should have 28 single crochets. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So that was row seven. Row eight, we are going to chain three. One, two, three, turn our work. One double crochet in the first single crochet. Chain one, one double crochet in the next chain one space. Chain one, and we're gonna repeat that pattern. One double crochet in each chain one space. Chain one, double crochet the next chain one space. We're gonna repeat that. Okay, now we're up to our point. We're going to skip that one first single crochet. We're going to double crochet in the last single crochet. Chain one. Now we're at our point. And our point, we're going to work two double crochets, chain two, and a two double crochet. Okay, two double crochet. Chain two and two double crochet. Chain one, one double crochet in the first single crochet. Chain one, skip the next single crochet. Double crochet in the Chain one space. Chain one, single crochet the next, double crochet the next chain one space, chain one, and just keep repeating that pattern. Be a double crochet in a chain one in every chain one space. Whoops. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one. Double crochet, chain one, up to the last chain one and um, chain one space now chain one and then two double crochets in the last or in the top of the chain one so there's one 
two. Now let's see how many we double crochets we have. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. She have seventeen on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Okay, so that was row eight. There we go. Now we're ready to start row nine. And row nine is going to be a single crochet row. Okay, so for row nine, we're going to chain one turn. And we are going to do a one single crochet in that first chain three space. And we're going to work one single crochet in the next double crochet. One single crochet in the chain one. And we're going to continue all the way down to our point. One single crochet in every double crochet. One single crochet in every chain one space. And you're going to work all the way to the point. And so that means you should have 32 double crochets on this side. Well, on both sides, actually. One single crochet. And so I will meet you back at the point. Okay, guys. we uh, I have 31 single crochets. Now we're going to work in our point. We are going to work one single crochet, chain one, and one single crochet. That will make 32 single crochets on one side, chain one, and one single crochet. And we're going to continue the same pattern all the way down to the other side. Let me find my point here, my chain one rather. There we go. That's why I like a stitch marker so it doesn't get hidden in there. Okay, so we're just going to work a single crochet all the way down. So single crochet in the next double crochet, single crochet the next double crochet, single crochet in the chain one, single crochet in the double crochet, single crochet in the chain one, single crochet in the double crochet. Now I will meet you all the way to the chain three space. And you should have, by the time you get there, you should have 31 single crochets. And then in that top of chain three, we'll make 32 single crochets. So I'll meet you back. Okay, guys. Now I'm working the last single crochet in the top of the chain three. That will make 32 single crochets. So that was row nine. So for row 10, we're going to chain three. We're basically, basically going to do the same thing. One, two, three. Turn our work. One double crochet in the next single crochet because that chain three represents a double crochet. And we're going to work one double crochet in every single single crochet all the way to our last single crochet and then that will put us at our point so i will meet you um i'll go ahead and let you do that on your own i think you can do a double crochet in every single crochet i'll meet you at that last single crochet okay so so far i've got 32 double crochets and now we're at our point. So we're going to work our last double crochet in the chain one space. And that's our point. So chain one. One double crochet in that same space. And that should make 33 double crochets on that side. And we're going to continue the same pattern and we should have 33 double crochets on this side. 
So we're just going to double crochet in every chain in every single crochet. And so I will meet you at the end. Okay, so I just did my last double crochet. And so we had 33 on this side, 33 on this side. And that makes row 10. And don't worry about the wave a little bit because um, not only will the chain, not only will the chain one and your mesh rows will flatten that out. And um, so yeah, so there you go. That's rows four through 10. I mean, one through 10. And uh, row four is your repeat row. And so, um, so like if you were going to continue on, go back to row four and chain four, turn your work, skip the next double crochet, because that remember that represents a double crochet and a chain one. So you're going to double crochet in the next double crochet, chain one, skip the next double crochet, because you see now you're working on your mesh. Chain one, skip the next double crochet. You just continue working um, row four again. So I'll kind of get you started on this and I will meet you down at the end here. Okay, so here's our point. I took out the stitch marker and we're gonna work two double crochets, a chain two, and two double crochets for our point. So there we are and we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen that means we should have nineteen for our other side okay so we got to repeat this for the other side, like we did the other side, so we'll chain one, and it looks like our right here, we double crocheted in that last double crochet, so we'll chain one, double crochet, that first double crochet, chain one, skip the next double crochet, double crochet in the next double crochet, skip, and we'll continue that all the way to the end. So I'll meet you right here. Okay, so I worked one double crochet in the last uh, chain one on the last single crochet. And so what you would do is you would start your counter all over again. And that was row four. And so just continue to keep going that same pattern. Basically, you're going to have three mesh rows. We have a single crochet, you know, between it, but you have basically have a three mesh and then your single and double here and then three mesh. That's how I know, like sometimes if I get off row count, I like, okay, I got one, two, three. And that's the kind of the way I count mine. There's one, then I'll have two, three. And then that's where I know I've got to start my single and my double. So every one, two, three. And of course, you know, don't forget you do have a single in between here. But yeah, so I hope you guys like that. Um, let's see. I was going to tell you the measurement on this. If you're, I did not measure the shawl because I don't feel like I need to measure that because everyone's going to make their shawl different sizes. And so, but I did measure like what a shawlette would do, like what one of these capes would do at 590 yards. Um, the span that is across here 
will come to 42 inches. The center point here to here will be like 26 inches. Left to bottom and right to bottom is 33 inches. Now that's for a shawlette. Um, so yeah, and you just single crochet across the top. Um, yeah, you just, you'll make your single crochet across here. So that's basically all that you need to do. And uh, I'll leave the link below where the written pattern is. And the written patterns are for it is $1.99. This tutorial, of course, is free. And I have all the instructions here. So you're welcome to write them down. So you have them for future use. Thank you uh, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this.